The king with the cut nose, governor of a distant country, seriously ill. The doctors could only treat him by cutting off his nose? The governor surrendered to the order of the doctors and performed the necessary procedure. Having recovered, he looked at his hideous face without a nose. To get out of this awkward situation, he ordered his minister and senior staff to cut off their noses. And every one of them ordered who he was. His lowest salary is to have his nose cut off until all state employees arrived. Each of them, when he went to his house, ordered his wife and every member of his household to cut off his nose. Over time, this has become a habit and part of the features of the people of this town. As soon as a new baby is born, male or female, unless the first procedure after cutting his umbilical cord is to cut his nose, years later a stranger passed by this town, and he was seen by everyone as ugly and gay because he has something hanging from his face. It's his good nose. By virtue of the authority, by virtue of the habit that has become a part of, who formed this small community, this remote town, the mistake became right, and right became wrong. Over time, new aesthetic laws were formed. You see that the nose lump is the most beautiful. There are other standards of beauty, and also for ugliness. Anyone who comes from the outside world his nose is intact is a gay person. And this story prompts some questions. Have we lost our noses? Have we lost something else? Have we lost our minds, for example? How wrong we used to be and became the right one. And we defend it only because it is our habit. How many things do we see, as gay, just because it's not from us and from our habits? How much of something we defend and passionately, only because it is our religious, national, or ethnic mistakes? Are our mistakes because they are our personal mistakes more important than the stranger's right? Feel your nose. Feel your mind. And ask yourself how many things were cut from you, and how many facts have been missed from you. Look around and try to figure out the mistakes that she inherited it from ancestors and deals with it almost daily. As a sacred heritage, it must be preserved. Take things apart. Take it out of the usual and familiar cupboard. Put her on the table of the critical mind. Rebuild your relationship with her anew. And the sense of smell is restored. The most important thing is to restore only the queen of logical thinking. Stop.